Okay, guys, this is the way I'm using my iCloud lock device at the moment. Now, I'm going to set this down for a moment while I plug the device in. As you can see, I have a very old monitor, but as you can see, there is no device plugged in at the moment. And yes, this is iTools 3. Un momento, por favor. Okay. <clears throat> now. Oh, shit. The iPad 4 is booting. And we're getting the little ditty sounds. And as you can see, Numa's iPad 4 is now connected. Now, one second. As you can see, the device is still not set up. I can actually do, I can multitask. It's awesome. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> All right, now. Where's the land of the free, land of the brave? And we are in iCloud DNS bypass dot com by Igor July. I can even go into oops. Uh, I hacks and do this. Splash screen. Lock screen. Where'd it go? There it is. Sorry, I still got the shaky cam. Okay. Let's do this again. <laughs> well, it worked. Um, here we go. Alright, now, as you can see, I'm in the device. I can do whatever I want. I can also effectively change my wallpapers now. So now it's above the bar. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay, hold on. This is what I get for looking through the screen. See what I'm doing on another screen. Hold on. Well, it does work. I can't get it to work at the moment. <clears throat> Hold on a second. <clears throat> what is the deal here? There we go. Whoops. Let's 
still a little fickle, but hold on, let me set it down so I can see what I'm doing. Alright, it is very easy to use. This is what it should look like. And that screen I'm going to set as the shit, I don't know. Um, lock screen, you know, I guess. And I'm going to set this. Come on now. I'm going to set this as the home screen. So. Now I'll get back out of here. And I apologize, that's my fault. I'm using, you know, it's dark in here and I'm using one device. I'm trying to see what my thumb and fingers are doing on the device beneath this. Okay. Back all the way out. Come back in. Application. IX. And you can see where I have changed the home and lock screen, or set them as I did just a moment ago. A moment ago, rather. It's very smooth opening, getting in that time. Alright, now, here's the cool thing. You know, this is running, and I can access the net, you know. Uh, let's see. Google. Alright. Time EST seven fifty one PM. I don't know what that proves really, but uh I think it proves this. Alright, now the computer needs to wake back up. So as you can see I've got live web. Check this out. I can also come up here to this device and go into the photos and any photos taken with that device, screenshot or otherwise, are saved. Also, I can inject music and can actually listen to it from here. As you see. No, I'm not sure what the volume's doing here, but Okay, so anyway, and then you can also add videos if you want. Um I can't recall if I have anything on here at the moment. But I do have PDF books. Alright, and then you, you also have a toolbox. Which allows you to... Access... Your solid state drive, a hard drive, within your iDevice to store as many files as you want. And that's about the point of this entire video. We're right, coming up at the 10 minute mark. Well, it's 9 minutes and 55 seconds. So, anyway, just proof of concept uh, showing 
that with a lock device you can still use iHacks iCloud DNS bypass and even still use your dri your device as a drive and store your files it's it's, it's great it's great good stuff all right Nemo with the shaky cam out later guys have a good night